Everybody. Today we are going to talk about Mighty Mighty Scoop Noodle Challenge. It is one of the most epic games that has ever been played at GALS and it is one of the favorites usually of each senior class. Not sure about this one so we'll see today. Um, but what I want you to know are a couple of very important things if you've never played this. First off, the game is Mighty Mighty Scoop Noodle Challenge. We go Mighty Mighty Scoop Noodle Challenge to start. Second thing, the goal is to get all of the objects from the other side to your side. So here's what it looks like. This is the field setup right here. And on each field side, we might have um, some hula hoops. You can have one hula hoop, you can have three hula hoops, you can have five hula hoops if you felt like it. And inside each of the hula hoops is some kind of item. Maybe there's a ball here. Maybe there's a noodle here. Uh, maybe there's a football here. So your job, if you're on this team over here, is to run to the other side, grab this object, and either run it back or throw it back. Simple enough, right? Well, not so simple. Let's say you're running across to go get this item here and somebody on this team over here tags you. If you get tagged, you've got to go to a place called jail. Jail is down here and jail is a series of people who are lining up touching each other with toes or fingers. You can lay down, you can stand up, whatever you want. Um, but people who get tagged have to go to jail. And the only way they can get out of jail is if somebody from their side comes over and tags them. That way the whole group can come out and go back to their side. If they get tagged, they can't go to a hoop to grab an item, they have to come back. All right, um, let's see. Another important thing, if you run across the field, let's say, and you are trying to get an item over here, once you get in here, the minute you touch this item, you are not safe and you can be tagged. So you either need to throw the item or run the item or do whatever you're gonna do to get that item back to your side before you get tagged. So remember, if you touch something while you're inside the hula hoop, you are no longer safe. But being in the hula hoop means you're safe from being tagged. I forgot to say that earlier, that's an important thing. If you ran all the way across and you didn't get tagged and you got in here, you are safe. But you are no longer safe the minute you touch the item that's inside the hula hoop. Okay, it seems kind of complicated it's actually not really that complicated uh, when you get to playing and you start to know the rules. Um, one last thing, it is never cool to guard a hula hoop more than three feet away. Um, I mean, it is cool to guard it more than three feet away, but uh, not cool to guard it like right there. Um, so we have to make sure we stay some distance away just so we can play the game fairly. All right, uh, this is gonna kick off our beginning of our Thunder Wars series for the high school this year. Uh, Thunder Wars is a competition that we have annually. At the end of the year, we hold a big event where all wellness squads are competing against each other. Uh, but for today, we're gonna start off with a round of Mighty Mighty Scoop Noodle Challenge. Um, and when squads end up winning things, they get cool stuff. So just like you saw, um, all of y'all ran that mile and uh, we, drew, we drew a name earlier. I don't even know who it's gonna be yet um, because I'm making this video before the drawing, but somebody won a Fitbit. And um, the wellness squad that has the most gain in time on our next mile is gonna get a pizza party. So cool stuff happens um, when you compete and you actually show up and play the game with your wellness squad really well. 
All right, y'all, let's get out on that field.